Okay, so to our hot pot, we just gonna add some oil. Uh, and then I've cut one onion with uh, one chili, two stems of curry leaf, some thyme, and mint. I'm just gonna add it to the pot. And we're gonna add our dry spicy, which is three cloves, one bay leaf, one cinnamon stick, a teaspoon of mustard seed, one star anise, a teaspoon of jeera seeds, and one elaichi. We're gonna give it a kiss and wait for it to brown okay so while our onions are browning we're just gonna make our basmati rice uh, so I've already washed and rinsed it I'm just adding water One cinnamon stick, three cloves, one star anise, and two elachi pods, and a teaspoon of tuna. And add about a tablespoon of oil. Just so the rice doesn't stick, and let me give it a quick stir. And I'm gonna add in salt uh, to taste. I'm just going to add a pinch of salt to my onions to remove the moisture. So our onions are just brown enough. Uh, we're going to add in dry spices. So there's one tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder, uh, one teaspoon of uh, turmeric, a teaspoon of dried thyme, a teaspoon of ginger powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of freshly ground ginger and garlic paste. We're gonna mix it all together and allow it to braise for at least a minute before we add our meat. So our spices are nicely braised. We're gonna add one kilo of cubed lamb. I'm just gonna do the toss in the flavor and just gonna cook it for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So we had this going for about 10 minutes. You can see all the moisture has evaporated from the meat and the spices are just infusing into the meat and frying with it. So we're gonna add in our salt to taste. And I've got here one finely sliced cabbage. It's about half a kilo of cabbage. I'm going to add in our cabbage.
and add in one tomato so I liquidize my tomatoes and I freeze them so that I have them whenever I need it and I've cut four or five potatoes and I'm going to add it in Lid, let it go till the cabbage has all melted down and then we can stir it so my rice is almost ready I think it just needs like five minutes more and then we're gonna take it out so my rice is done I'm just gonna take it out and strain it so my rice is strained, you don't want to overboil rice, especially basmati rice, it becomes very mushy. Uh, and I've just got some food color here, so I'm going to pour a little. And once it's set, we'll mix it up and then we'll have like a multi-colored rice which my wife loves so most of our cabbage has wilted just want to give this a quick stir just gonna take about I think 35 to 45 minutes to cook you don't want to overcook the meat just until the potato is soft then we can put it off our curry has been cooking for 35 minutes now so we're just gonna check it out so the rice has all the steam has completely moved out so, just want to give it a quick toss and bring out all the colors. And that's our rice done. Just want to stir our curry. Just gonna garnish with some coriander and then plate up. Please, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Facebook page, as well as Instagram. So, it's just gonna simmer for like a minute and then I'm gonna plate. So this is our final product served with some salad. Thanks everyone for watching.